Lars for First Zoom TV, we're back with Gigabyte again and we get Hunter with us to show us another interesting product here. So what are we looking at? Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to show you the first time debut in the Gigabyte. We're going to show you the first time we show two port Thunderbolt solution from Intel. So we have a live demo in here and today we're going to show you the two port Thunderbolt solution. What we can do with uh, this kind of application. Right, so all the other Thunderbolt motherboards so far have only had a single port, so this is quite different, right? Yes, because two-port solution, we think is more flexible when you use it. For example, in here, you can see our demo here. We have the one system with one train with a different application, and the other train, we have a different storage application. So it gives you more flexible, and plus, each port of Thunderbolt able to support 16, six devices plus one monitor. So with top two port solution, I can do up to 12 devices with two monitors. That's the difference. Right, so you, you get much more connectivity option with yes. this. Yes. OK, so right now, I'm going to show you the demonstration we have here. What we're trying to do to show is like how the real life application you can do with a Thunderbolt. OK. So on my right hand side, this uh, story system Provided by Cal Digit and also Sumimoto cable. And we're gonna do is I gonna have the script to run with a three Full HD clip, including two two K video together. We're gonna have import and exporting at the same time with, uh, using the Cal Digit T2 rate. Okay. So I gonna run the script now. Okay, so script in loading. So I gonna play and I gonna fast forward a little bit. So this uh, script you gonna see is right now have three different script at the same time. The two small ones are two K video and mix of one Full HD video together. You can see all the frame rate is very smooth and not dropping. Okay, and also with this kind of high end ray system, you can do also check on the fly. For example, let me show you here. I can pause. I can drag into any point I like, even very fast forward. You will see the ray dry is working very hard. You see that both lights blinking very hard. So because I do shift on the fly, okay. But you won't see this kind of performance in the home regular home PC system. That's the one of the application you can do, okay, with the high end video editing in the home, okay. So. What, what, what's this cable? You mentioned this. This looks like something quite different. Yes, uh, this is a special cable from the Sumimoto. Uh, this year we turned up the Sumimoto. On the standard turnable cable, is about 3 meter. But although the cable you get most on the market is 1.5 meter. But they did a great job, very brilliant job. They trying to do is a mix with the copper technology with fiber technology right now. So they can do is, if we take a look on the cable here, on my right hand side, this is a standard Thunderbolt cable connector, looks shorter. But on the other hand, on my left hand side, this Sumimoto cable, it looks longer, bigger. Because inside, they also have converter. They're converting the electronic signal into the optical signal. So both ends, you're using the optical cable to transfer the data at the same time. So right now in this prototype, they're able to, to show it's 25 meter. Later, they say they're going to push to 50 meter or even 100 meter. Right, that's going to make it a lot easier to connect devices that aren't right next to your computer. Yes, yes that's right. Okay, on the other hand, I can show you what's the benefit with a two-port solution right now. For example, I'm still playing my high-end clip in here. But the other hand, I might the other chain basically from here. I go through from the first arrays rate and also promise rate and then output to my video, uh, my monitor. So I got to do is I got to torture both band, both port together. So, so all of this is running off the one system here in the middle. Yes, yes. And now I got to torture my two turnable port together, see any performance drop or not, okay? So take a look on here. I'm gonna run in with my, this uh, same IO meter. I got to torture those two rated strike together. So you will see, I gonna start in torturous them. So the damper in here, you will see this from this both ray drive, they run about 600 something megabyte per second. It's almost like fully loading. Plus, have the video output to you here. But in the meantime, if you come back here, you will notice this Thunderbolt 
system, on the other hand, won't even get any e effect. Or, yeah, that's why we insist we're using two-pole solution. Because two-pole then is independent. Each pole have 10 gigabyte per second, bidirectionally. All right, that's really impressive. Thanks.